In this episode of Transducing University, we're talking about fairing blocks and how they improve your performance. So let's talk about fairing blocks. What are they? Why do I need them? You'd be amazed at how many times we answer questions on our customer service line and people asking if they really need a fairing block. A lot of people look at a fairing block and they're, they're, they're afraid. It, it's a big piece of plastic. This is one of our larger ones, but even the smaller size can be intimidating to someone who doesn't understand why they would need a fairing block. So, in order to understand why, let's talk about boundary layer. The boundary layer is the layer of aerated water that travels down the hull as that hull moves through the water. Have a look at these pictures right here. This is a large sport fishing boat that's underway. And as you can see, there is an amazing amount of turbulence that's running down that boat. And the bubbles and everything are, are gonna be a thick layer between the clean water and the hull of that boat. What a fairing block does is it gets the face of that transducer past those bubbles and into the clean, unaerated water to give it the best performing surface it can have on there. We recommend always using a fairing block for the best performance. It's the reason that all of our 600 watt 1KW and larger transducers include the fairing block with them. Talk to your Airmar certified installer, get them to install a fairing block if you're having a lot of aeration or you don't have a really clean sonar screen. Oftentimes, it's the fairing block that makes the difference in the performance of your sonar equipment.